I had a, a lot of people leave questions asking about JP's whereabouts. So I don't know how you guys want to answer that, but maybe just tell tell us what you can, and hopefully people are satisfied with that answer. But just to kind of let the audience know, this is a super personal matter. So whatever we're gonna hear, that's what we're gonna get. And then after that, go on and live the rest of your life. Stop being Wahoo. <laughs> nice. <laughs> you heard. Yeah. No. Um, Nanya. Well. Yeah. Uh, you know, so like th for those who know who the Green is, like we've, you know, we've been a six piece band on stage forever until recently because, you know, JP has has left for a, for a while. I mean, but um, and everyone wants to know why, you know, and uh, the the specifics we just can't get into because, like you said, it is very, very, very personal um, to him and like stuff that like, you know, we don't we can't talk about. It's not really our 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 business to be talking about um but you know we we've been we we're, we're we've always been family and we've we've been through so much together like uh, in the last 13 years like just crazy crazy like we could sit here I, and we're trying to answer your questions and we're going off on tangents you know on stories and all that so we've been through so much together but um it we've never expected this to ever happen. Like the the fact that JP's not here with us right now, you know, that's not that was never in the playbook. And and, and anybody not being in the band out of us six would always have in our minds would have meant that's it, you know. Like so, it took it took a while to get to this point to where we've carried on. Like it's been a, a couple of years of trying to make it work and make it work without without Jay and then him come back and try and you know just give give him time give us time and try and do what's right and because mo what's most important is not the band it's everyone's family and their health and their well-being and all that so we've always just we've tried to do that and um but you know we, things happen that you would never imagine happening and, and change is scary and I think that's a big part of what everybody who's asking these questions rightfully so um is 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 afraid of is the change and and like it's been scary for us too um but it was just absolutely necessary each one of us in the band uh caleb jordan brad Ikaika, and myself and our team our management um have done like everything we can to try and you know do what's right first and and just and and keep that path going and we we've done that, but right now, just the path that JP is on, he's he's just not able to to be with us right now, and you know it's it's sad, it's heartbreaking in a lot of ways, and but there's so much to it that and this that and we've all been through dealing with it, and we've had to move forward in a lot of ways, and we've had to do that a while ago. So, like we've been. I always say we've been working really hard and, and like busting ass, you know, in the studio and all that. But we've always done that. We've always worked hard in studio and all that. But lately it's like things are in perspective a little more. I think like I said that earlier today, we're talking and it's like we, we're older now. We appreciate things more. We realize how, how things can change without you expecting it or foreseeing it or it even making sense. Like it doesn't make sense. This, this world doesn't mm -hmm. make sense sometimes. Mm -hmm. So... I think it's kind of in a lot of ways been a good thing, been a catalyst to us growing up and and really like taking better care of our business, the green as a business and as an entity and everything. And it's honestly been a wake up call that's been a good thing for our band and for our, our brand. Like things are things are tight, things are running well and I'm not, I'm not saying it's because he's not here or because of anything like that it's just sometimes when change happens other things like it's it's gonna spread out and it's spread out in a good way in a, in a lot of ways and I think that's a part of us like having to mature and deal with conflict as an adult and move past it and and you know you make the most of it or you or you move on but you don't just dwell on it and complain about it and go, ah, this isn't how it's supposed to be. It's like, how long can that last? Mm -hmm. You know. So it's been, it's just been a crazy growth for us, and 
you know, deep down, I personally, I can't speak for anyone in the band, but I, I, I love Jay. I'll, I'll always love him and, and hope that, you know, we'll wish the best for him and his family. And one day, you know, if, if he comes back or we have something as the green, it's gonna have to be something new and, and different. Like, like what's happening right now is new and different. It's still the green, but it's new and different. So it could never be like how it was. Mm. It would have to be better. Like how right now, in my opinion, it's better in a lot of ways. And I think if you come to a show, you'll, you'll see like, it's just the energy and the revitalization. I think it's cause we got out of this dark cloud of, of stress and dealing with what was going on. And we came out on the other side realizing we can do it and realizing we've been doing it for 13 years, overcoming stuff, you know? So man, it's, you know, that's the best answer I can give as without really saying, you know, any specific stuff, but, um, yeah. That was beautiful. Mahalo yeah, for sharing. That was a that was those great. are good answers. I yeah, and you know, Thanks, I just I, just to add to that, like, I think you know everything Zion touched on. I, I, I mean, he's yeah, he you know he speaks he speaks for us, right? He's here, like, you know, representing the band, and and I think like what people uh, we know, we we understand that people are are curious and are wondering, you know, what's going on, you know, and if, and, and they're fans and they love our music. They love our music with JP. They love JP's music. Like we totally understand it, that, that people feel like, you know, the green may not be the same, but that's, that's the truth. You know, yeah. it's not, it's not JP's not here. Like we understand that, but the truth for, for us is that it, it almost ended us and we had to decide we were we just going to just say all right that's it or were we going to continue and and try our best to keep doing music and what we love not just for like not just for like our fans and but for like us our families mm -hmm. to keep you know just our livelihood like and at the end of the day it was very hard to make those decisions. And there was a lot of talks and conversations, you know, also like being in the, the, you know, in the, in the midst of like going through something with one of our brothers, like it, it's, it's a lot. And like, we made the decision that <clears throat> to like, we're going to keep going. We're not going to stop. Mm -hmm. We can't stop. And it took a lot of like, mindset like changes to be our, in order to do it but like we we came through and we decided we're gonna do it you know and and i feel like it took like everybody's um like max strength mm -hmm. to do it you know yeah. yeah yeah so yeah no that's that's a good point it almost it almost like ended us and we we're like is this gonna is this really gonna end us because it shouldn't you know? Scary. That's scary. Yeah. I can I can feel how how powerful how how impactful that was just by you speaking, yeah. how much it meant to you guys and wow. yeah, man. And but well, that's why we're so blessed too, because like like honestly though, the way it feels now, like it's like that was supposed to happen. Like mm -hmm. it, it, there's been so many things that have happened in our career, like as the green, our career, that has been like oh yeah we're in the right place right time like and and it doesn't it doesn't always mean it was a good thing but mm -hmm. there was some reason why it, and it's like this feels like that now during it mm -hmm. in the heat of the moment you can't tell them you can't tell how important it is but like after it's kind of i mean you know how important it is but you don't mm -hmm. see the way out you know and then now that it's kind of you know like us even talking about it right now it's like that's why it's so emotional to bring up yeah. is because we haven't really talked about it too much mm -hmm. you know well, I just want to mahalo you for sharing this very, you know, personal thing. And it it shows vulnerability and growth. So to see people like you at the, the highest level, you know, go through normal things like f familial things, re relationship things, you know, because we put people who are well known with thousands of followers, the kid next to their Instagram follower come on these pedestals like they're gods goddesses like yeah. their lives are perfect yeah, yeah. No, they, they're untouchable yeah. but there are real struggles 
that mm-hmm. go, that goes on in everybody's life. That's what that's what I notice when I go uh, when I talk to the people on this podcast. It's right. like, oh, you're just a normal person. Yeah, yeah, you're going through the same things. You have anxiety. You're self conscious. You're yeah. insecure. Oh, me too. Them too. It's like, yeah, yeah. You just realize like, this is just part of the human experience. No. Yeah. Right. So, I mean. It's just, you know, things like this happen with families, with friends. It's just that there's a spotlight on you guys. Yeah. And that's why everybody's curious. Yeah, and, it, and, it's, and it's all good. Like, we, we know, like, we, we, we want people to be curious and mm-hmm. care, right? Like, that means we did, like, our job. Like, we, mm-hmm. we're, we, we put something out there that people care about, right? And so we're grateful for these questions. And we know people are, are curious and wondering. And we want to provide some, any mm-hmm. type of insight we can, you know, to... To, to at least maybe hopefully like makes them feel at ease or or maybe it makes them feel like they want to reach out to JP or to us and say like, hey, you know, I was thinking about you guys and wishing the best for you guys. And I think that's I think that's all, you know, like at the end of the day, like Zion said, mm-hmm. you know, the band shouldn't be the most important thing right now, you know, and um, in this situation, you know, with JP and we're hoping that first and foremost that um, he's able to 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 get to the place where he needs to be so that so that other opportunities and, and possible possibilities for the the for the band then can become mm-hmm. you know something and so you know we'll see you know one day okay yeah well yeah mahalo i hope yeah. that that's good enough for everybody i i, I hope so i mean you yeah, may I appreciate crime. what more do yeah. you guys want <laughs> Yeah, well, what do you want? I forgot I bought tissue. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that that really shows me how close you guys were. And oh, how, I almost lost how, it too for how, a second. Uh, yeah. Sorry, guys. How I'm much almost the one that starts crying. Yeah. No, no. <laughs> totally. It's, it's totally fine. <laughs> Taimane <laughs> cried like three times on the podcast. I'm not going to so lie. So you're not even close. Taimane. Taimane. Taimane? <laughs> she has a record, I think. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. this ain't over. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we're just getting started. One. The tear ducts are open now. (laughs) 